is up, Finch fam? It is me, Adrian Finch. Great name, I know. Today I am wearing my Wi-Fi shirt because it's only fitting that I am doing another iPhone slash social media slash techie sort of video for you guys. If you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe down below to join the hashtag Finch fam because we're the best. And if you guys didn't already know, I have made a lot of social media life hack type of videos recently, which I will link the playlist to down below because you guys have loved them and you have highly requested this video that I am doing today. So in today's video, I am going to show you guys what's on my iPhone slash the top 10 iPhone apps that I seriously think will change your life, that have changed my life, there you have it. I will also be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram photos if you're interested in that and be sure to follow me on Instagram because if you notice my background's different right now. I'm actually in London right now. I've been here for two weeks. I'm here for one more week. I love it here. I never want to leave. But yeah, that's why my background's different and you don't care, okay. You guys requested this video and I'm doing it. So let's get started. So to start off, the background of my phone right now is actually a photo that I took right outside of my Airbnb in London. Like I said, I'm in London. And just so that you guys know, I have been vlogging here in London. I've been doing short, quick, artsy, fun, daily vlogs of my experiences here in London. So be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel if you are at all interested in that. I'm gonna be traveling a lot more lately, so I figure you guys might wanna see that. So the iPhone that I have is the iPhone 6 in rose gold. Now, I actually got the one with the smallest amount of storage, which I hardcore regret now, and I know that the next phone I get will have the biggest amount of storage. So I don't actually have a whole lot of apps going on on my phone. I really just have the most important ones, the most basic ones that really help me to survive on a daily basis. On the first page, I have the apps that I use the most. Now, this includes my social media apps. So I have Snap Snapchat, YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest. I love those apps. Add me on all of them if you haven't already. And then I have my Instagram editing apps. So all my photography apps, which I will get into in a little bit. And then I have the other apps that I've been using a lot lately. The first one I wanna talk about is Journey. Journey I discovered just recently and actually my friend Morgan has been doing this thing forever now where she takes a one second video every single day and at the end of the year, she compiles those all into like one video that just recap the year. So ever since I found out she was doing that, it made me wanna get some sort of video journaling app for my phone and that is where I found Journey. So basically Journey is a video journaling platform and it's focused on emotions and topics. So it's really cool you can organize your journal entries into topics and also how you're feeling in that moment. I'm someone who really likes to look back and see like what I was doing, how I was feeling. That's half of the reason why I even started a vlog channel is just for me to remember my own life. So Journey is an absolutely perfect way to journal your experiences and your emotions all in one place. Another cool factor about it is that even the comments are videos. So if you feel strongly about a certain topic or someone else's video, you can leave a video comment back. Something I think is really cool about this video commenting is that it has actually helped topics and causes such as bullying because people actually have to stand in front of a camera and talk and say how they feel rather than just typing on a keyboard. And I love everything that this app stands for. The video journals are 45 seconds each, which allows for more conversation and authenticity and just being you. Basically, all in all, I love this app because it's a place where people can be real and talk about real issues and emotions, unlike other social media apps that just tend to be a lot more superficial. This one is a place where you can have a real conversation and where you can journal and express yourself about things that matter to you the most. Anyway, if you guys are interested in seeing more about Journey, click the link in the description box below and they have them available for iPhone, iPad, anything above iOS 7. And it's also coming soon to Android for those of you that always are like, you don't do anything that has to do with Android. <laughs> Well, it's coming, so be patient. So the next app that I have on my main homepage is the Kuwait Alarm Clock. Now, I love this app. I'm not gonna go too much into it because I actually talked about it in my last video, which was life hacks for growing up that you need to know. So this alarm clock basically doesn't let you snooze. It makes you get up in the mornings. If you guys wanna know more about that app, go check out my last video. I will link it also down below. Like this alarm clock literally will change your life. It'll make you more productive. So aside from all my social media, I also have my photo editing apps on the first page of my phone because Duh, I need them like 24 seven. So the main apps that I use for editing my photos are ViscoCam and Facetune. ViscoCam, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with. They just have really awesome filters and I just like love the look that it gives to photos. Now, a lot of people get all caught up in having an Instagram theme and a feed. And for me personally, I just think that whatever looks best on that particular photo is the filter you should use. I've been doing this recently on my Instagram and I think it actually has been looking really good. And if you guys wanna know more tips and tricks about Instagram, I have made two Instagram hacks videos. Those 
those will also be linked down below. Now, Facetune is an app that allows you to morph a photo. It can allow you to smooth skin, brighten eyes, add details. And a lot of people get carried away with this app and make themselves look a lot skinnier or a lot more muscular. But I don't believe that that is something you should be doing. I think that you guys should stay true to yourselves. But the reason that I like Facetune is to just add emphasis to pieces of a photo that I like. For example, here in London, I recently Instagrammed a picture of my breakfast. I know, so basic. But what I did is I took that photo onto Facetune after I used a ViscoCam filter and I just added the details feature just around the food that I was eating just to make it stand out and pop a little more in the photo. So that's what I use Facetune for. I don't like to get carried away. I think it's addicting and it doesn't show who you truly are. So just be careful with that one. Another app that I like to use is the Canon Camera Connector. Basically what that does is if you take photos on a nicer camera like a DSLR or even a smaller point and shoot, you can actually connect it via its own Wi-Fi signal to your phone so you can immediately download photos onto your phone using it. By the way, the background of my phone on the inside is literally just like a Tumblr random wallpaper thing. I googled Tumblr iPhone background and got like a bunch of cute photos. Now on the second page of my phone is apps I don't use as often but that I still think are cool and game changers. Sam Card is an app that I just discovered recently. It might not be as useful for you guys but if you're someone who has a job or has a business and you receive and hand out business cards a lot, this app will save your life because instead of carrying around a million business cards or trying to organize them or sort through them, you can have them all right on your phone. The next app that I like to use a lot is Around Me. Here in London, Shelby and Monica and I have been talking about how someone needs to make an app to just tell you what are the best bars, the best restaurants, the best places to go. Well, Around Me sort of helps with that because it basically shows you everything that is around you, hence the name. But it's really helpful because it divides it into certain categories like restaurant or food or that's the same thing. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, Around Me is awesome. The next two apps you guys I'm sure have already, but I just like to mention them because I literally can't live without them. And that is Venmo and Uber. Uber, obviously, it's a personal driver that'll pick you up usually within seven minutes. You guys know what it is. If you guys haven't downloaded Uber, check out my code in the description box and you will get, I think, your first ride free or something like that. I don't know. You guys should do that if you haven't. And then the next one being Venmo. Venmo is just a really easy app to be able to transfer money to someone. So when you're at a restaurant with a bunch of people and you don't wanna have to split the bill because it sucks for the waiter, then all you do is have one or two people put it on their cards and then everyone else Venmo them and it's just seriously a life changer. And the last app that I have been using a lot recently is called My Cloud Tag. Basically, this keeps track of your fitness, your dieting, your goals, everything like that all in one app. Sometimes I get really insecure about what I eat or my exercise and it helps to have it all in one place on an app so I've been trying this out recently I haven't been using it for too long so I'll let you know what I think of it but so far so good I'm loving it sorry the lighting keeps getting weird during this video because the Sun is like poking out P.S. Another app that I have is called Magic Liker. I don't use it, but I was researching apps that can actually help you gain like Instagram likes and stuff. And this one actually works and it's insane. So I think I might make a whole video just about that app because a lot of you are like, how do I get more likes? And I think it's dumb. Like I would never want to buy likes or buy followers, but like you can literally do it. So if you guys want to see a video like that, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know in the comments below what your favorite go-to apps are right now. And I can't wait to hear. Okay, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, obviously, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye!